Locker room, another new stage, okay. Health is not refilled. In fact, it's lower than ever? Why did I- why do I have less health suddenly? Oh, people are showing up. Should I just blast someone? I'm just <laughs> Oh, I see just a bunch of legs. I'm just gonna blast someone and see who it would be. Oh, it's you. Oh, I already have a star for her. Even though she's not a uh, pink-haired or twin-tailed. I guess uh, we're just gonna go for her too. What was her name? Oh, it's Itchy Nose. All right, am I gonna get like the one on that side and the other one on the side? Yeah, supposedly. Oh, I had my hand off the mouse. I was itching my nose. I had an itchy nose of my own to deal with. I'll just blast her, I guess. I'm not gonna get that spot again. Way down here, there's no good places to shoot from. And I can't tell who's who, it's just legs and butts. Oh, hi. Well, I can see them once they fall, but that doesn't fucking help me at all, does it? Bad place for grind <laughs> grinding out character profiles. This is a pretty bumping tune, though. It might be a little too quiet in the video. Oh, I cannot shoot bottle. Are we done in here, then? I'm not gonna have, like, one last hurrah. Where they all come storming in on me in the girls' locker room and freak out. Nope, successfully made it. A perfect stealth operation. I don't suppose there's going to be any girls in these vents. Ooh, free ecstasy shot. Oh, didn't get any from her. We're just popping my head through the grate, I guess. There we go. <clears throat> it's got to be everyone unless someone comes in. Why do they have so many locker rooms? What about the boys' locker rooms? Why do they have, so like, two? Still crawling around events. This, <laughs> this isn't very exciting. Oh, I think there's a grate beneath us here. I can see some light. No, we're just passing over it. No, we're not. Just kidding. Ooh. Very, very stagnant motions. Okay, uh... This one. She's got pinkish hair. And there's many on screen. Alright, I guess I'm I guess I'm starting hers. I don't know if I'll have time to finish it. If we'll even see her that many times. But, you know, it's just such a good opportunity to get so many targets at once. I can't see her star- Okay, I saw her star there. And it was already filled. These girls are too close, I cannot see their star level. You expect me to remember? I'm too dumb for stuff like that. And there's too dang many of them. Always trying to shoot the bottles. Uh, we'll get her again in this target-rich environment. All right. Big damage, big points. Okay, now that we're we're back in the vents. I guess we fell through that vent. The reason why the view was so high is it didn't want us to see the vent was already open. Because that would be way too difficult to animate. <laughs> we, gotta work, we gotta cut some corners here. Like padding out this stage by just giving us a shit ton of vent to crawl through. Alright, presumably that's the vent we... the crate we want to get to. Kaname, are you okay? Tenzo, I told you not to come in, so why are you... Uh, yeah. Tentacle monster. You're probably wondering why we hadn't seen one yet. No! Guess we can't talk this out. Oh, I thought she liked serious guys. That was kind of a joke. Don't spy us if we can talk this one out. That much should be blatantly obvious, Tenzo. No, don't touch me there. Run away, Tenzo! Ugh. I'm gonna tell her to hang in there. I'm gonna rescue her. Hang in there, Kaname. I'll be right there. Okay, Tenzo. Patako, will my attacks work on that thing? You never know until you try. Give it a shot, Tenzo. Okay, your time's up, monster. Let's do this. Oh no, Kaname's in the clutches of a nasty monster. Hurry up and defeat that thing to save her. 
If you shoot the exclamations on its tentacle, it'll open its mouth nice and wide. That's your chance to blast the weak point that's hiding in there. If you shoot Kaname by accident, she'll let out quite a scream. It'll take a ton of mental damage if it hits you, so if she screams, make sure you shoot the letters before they reach you. Alright, so kind of similar to uh, the last girl's Kaorokus. Oh! So the red one is instant. It's like the riskiest one, but you get it right away instead of having to shoot all the yellow ones, presumably. It seems like it's kind of worth it though, because shooting all of the other four seems like a lot more. And I'm pretty good at this video game. Oh, keeping it real close. Oh no! No, we've got to shoot that one. Uh, finish it off. There we go. Uh, that was a little tough. That was just tough enough. I don't think I'll get perfect, though. I shot her like twice. Oh, I got perfect, even though I shot her like twice. Are you okay, Kaname? Y yeah, I'm fine. Thanks, Tenzo. But I ended up needing your help again. Don't sweat it. It's okay. No, it's not okay. I messed up a simple spell because I was thinking about you, Tenzo. So, that monster... Yeah, I summoned it by mistake. You saved me again. You're always saving me, Tenzo. I don't recall saving her before. I'm always saving you because we made a promise. Uh, I'm so scared. Don't come any closer. Kaname. Ah, Tenzo, it's happening again. I'm scared. Okay, leave it to me. Yeah, take that. Go away. Stop bullying Kaname. Ah. It's okay, Kaname. I'll, I'll always protect you. Tenzo. That was my little girl voice. I made it <laughs> as little girl as possible. That's right. She might be an occult maniac now, but it was a different story back then. She can see things that others can't, and so she was always afraid, always crying. I couldn't see the spirits, but I'd always swing around a stick to protect her. I promised you back then that I'd always protect you. Thank you so much, Tenzo. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm a little tired, so see you later. What the hell is crazy? What does that even mean? I'll just tell her she's a big help. <laughs> the red one's always bad, and I didn't understand the green one. You're a big help, Kaname. Who knows what would have happened if you weren't there. I should be thanking you, Tenzo. You know what would have happened if you weren't there? Nah, I didn't do that much. I needed you to save me again. Um, I'm gonna go now. Bye. Okay, peace. Tenzo, this is your chance. Summoning that huge thing by mistake exhausted Kaname's spiritual power. I'm guessing that means her guardians are weakened too. Your pheromone shot should be more effective on her now, Tenzo. Gotta strike while the iron's hot. Attack her weak spot for massive damage. That's what I always say. You know, for a Cupid, you're like, really aggressive. Hey, back off. We don't have all day, you know. Literally. I know, I know. Let's go. I'm worried about Kaname. No problemo. Alright, quad 245. I think we've been to quad exactly one time. This could be a different route. Oh, I could have been zooming there. Uh, anyway, we've only seen it the one time, so we'll just sit through it another time. Just in case it is a different route. Oh, moving targets are tough! I am not good at video game. There we go. Oh, hello. Okay. And you, where, there it is. <clears throat> Had a bit of a hard time finding it. I think maybe her pose might have been hiding it from me. Oh, your letters are quick and spaced out. You are three stars now. We don't need to worry about her anymore. 
I do like purple hair too. Purple's kind of like a cousin of pink. So it's it's good in my books. Oh no, I think that was a twin tail that just had the one star. Oh yeah, I already I already fucked that one up. Oh, it, it, the the noise for letting me know my meter's full is like extra noisy when it's like full full. I better blast it off real soon. Well, not in this stage. All right, stairs to the roof. That said, I don't have a. I don't think I've been to a place that's been called that. But I'm pretty sure this is just uh, the last level, just in a different name. Maybe not, I don't super know. I guess I'll just leave this in anyways. Oh, I didn't finish her. Oh, that's a the buns I don't have. So I'm not seeing the... Uh, I'm not seeing the two sisters with the one tail showing up anymore. I think I might miss my chance. I don't think I'm going to end up finishing either of them this time. Or did I finish the one? I can't remember. I felt like that was ages ago. The uh, the stages I'm cutting out, I'm doing a lot of, or at least trying to do a lot of Doki Doki during those. For the sake of not making these stages particularly long and boring. Uh, just a little one to top her up. Oh, no, too little. But, uh, yeah, I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end. I haven't been taking note of what time it is, though I've only been looking at the stage names and then scrolling through my text list without pausing. So I actually don't know how close to the end I am. Nothing seems to go later than 5.48. Oh, it's that teacher. I, was, I started working on that teacher last stage. All right, just the one. But it's all about that profile collecting. Come to think of it, I don't really... Oop. I don't really recognize uh, these uh, Japanese signs all over all the windows on the doors. So maybe this is a different stage. Because I think I went to one that was just called restrooms. And it was exactly like ones that I have called restroom area. Or restrooms area. So I think there might have just been a bit of an bit of a bad translation there. A little inconsistent. Oh, it's you again. Let's finish off that teacher. Oh. Show her for a quick second. And then I screwed up the ecstasy shot. We're here. Ah, there she is. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Wow, Kaname sounds something else. She's being consoled by a spirit. Oh yeah, she's always been like that. While some spirits can be bullies, she's apparently chummy with others. This stuff doesn't seem to phase you, Tenzo. That spirit actually kind of looks like uh, the ones that you see in... um. The later games, you have to do like a... You do, when you do the zoom, you can see them, I think. Yeah, they show up as like a glow. And then when you zoom in, you see like their actual body. You can get like a... You can collect their profiles too, and they're like kind of rare. This stuff doesn't seem to phase you, Tenzo. Well, sure. Well, I can't see what she sees. I always see her... I always see her seeing what she sees. Have you calmed down, Kaname? Yeah, a little. Um, I don't know what to say, but it's fine. You don't have to say a thing. But still, thank you, Tenzo. He, he, you see, a spirit was cheering me up. I know. Spirits have cheered you up ever since you were little, though some of them give you a hard time. Ah, uh, so you remember. Did you think I'd forget? Be a little playful. Did you think I'd forget? No, that's not what I meant, but... So, do you remember anything else? Hmm. Should I... I should say... I'm gonna say the nice thing. Let's see if she appreciates a little flirt. 
I remember how cute you were back then, Kaname. Huh? What? Remember the promise I made back then? You're talking about that one time, right? Yeah, I remember it perfectly. Everything I said to you. Ah. I promise to always protect you. Yeah. That's a promise I intend to keep. Huh? I'll always protect you, now and forever. But you have a crush, don't you? Yeah, a crush on someone who's always by my side, smiling with me. I see. You'll keep your promise, even when you've got a crush on someone like that? Yeah, I mean... You've always been so nice, Tenzo. Mmm, right. Okay, now's your chance. Here comes the Doki Doki feel. Time to seize the moment, Tenzo. Alright, I'm gonna go into my rapid fire stance to breeze through this as quickly as possible. I'll make sure you understand this time, Kaname! There we go. Yeah, you can really blitz through that. It's not even like a, they come out at a certain time and you can't do any damage. You can just keep on blitzing. I guess that's kind of good since they're like, you know, they're repetitive and not very cool. Huh? What? It's not working, huh? The Guardians are still there too. That's strange. Why? I'd love to know. Hmm. <laughs> Do you think maybe Kaname just doesn't like you as a man? Huh? Maybe she only sees you as just a childhood friend. No way. Tenzo? Uh, yeah? I'm sorry, it's a little difficult for me right now, but I'll do something about that evil spirit after class. Tenzo, I'll be waiting on the roof after class. Will you be there? Okay. It's a promise. Okay, it's a promise. See you. Kaname. Alright, I guess we have to attend class now. Yeah, I guess there's class attending in between. Phew, class is finally over. It's time, Tenzo. Yep, it sure is. We're just about out of time. This is our last chance. It's now or never. Yeah. I'm now fully aware that I need to be very direct with Kaname. So I'm gonna open up my heart and give it to her straight. Those guardians ain't nothing. Yeah, that's the spirit. Let's give it our best shot. Alright, now it's that same final stretch of levels that we always have. Alright, I actually managed to complete a couple of profiles in that time. The, uh, the sisters with the one tail each, they actually showed up again after so much time not showing up, and I managed to finish those. It's good for me. Kaname. Tenzo. Um, Kaname. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna give you an exorcism and a love charm that will bring you true happiness. Sounds great. That sounds great, actually. Of course, leave it to me. That was not the right thing to say. But I don't really need... If you waste too much time talking, you're gonna die old and alone. I'm still a student, you know. Don't worry about me, Tenzo. After all, you've always been the one coming to my rescue. That's because I made you a promise. I know. It has always made me so happy. And I'm still gonna make you happy. You can't. You'll make your crush sad if you do. I wouldn't like it if my crush had another girl who was always hanging around either. So I'm gonna do my best for your sake, Tenzo. Right here and now. Um, Kaname, you see... Hold still, Tenzo. Sorry, I can't. Yes, you can. Just stay still. Alright, I need to fight off her exorcism. Oh wow, those things... They cover your vision for quite a while. Doesn't seem like I can shoot her guardians right now, so I'll just focus... What's happening here? Oh, okay, things from above. Oh, it's the little, little Cupid things. These have like, these haven't even really appeared in the, uh, in this game so far. I think they're called Mr. Happies. You shoot them for bonus points in, uh, the later games. I think they're like bonus points and secrets. 
Oh, I guess she's still taking a little bit of damage while I'm doing this, so I might as well shoot rapidly while I'm trying to knock her things away. All the projectiles before have gone down pretty quickly. This one's like the only one that's actually taking a bit. At least, like, more than one shot. Fuck off, Mr. Happy. Bang! You gotta smash your crush. And I don't mean it in, like, the sexual way. When they say let me smash, I mean you gotta ram into her, let her know. Let her know you care. <laughs> By smashing into her. Alright, we're probably gonna finish her in this phase. That meter's getting awfully filled. There we go. I did get hit by at least one of them, though. So I don't know if I'll get a perfect. Oh yeah, I guess, do we get a rating on those? I don't think so. Kaname. Uh, please calm down and listen. What is it? Um... It's me. I want to tell you how I feel. Uh, okay. Kaname, I love you. What? Come on, please don't make me repeat myself. I'm trying my best. It was me? You love me, Tenzo? No way. Yes way. Do you think I could joke around about something like this? Tenzo. Tenzo, now's your chance. You might be able to break through our guardians. Here we go. Final Doki Doki field. Tenzo, go get her. So because she's like the main girl, I feel like you're kind of expected to do her story mode first. Because, uh, I don't know, I just feel like the way that a lot of the dialogue is, and the way that it's kind of laid out, is uh, it feels very introductory, whereas the other ones, not so much. It's kind of hard to explain. Oh, it's a real good spot in the stum- in the- the, <laughs> the stummy. So tummy and butt, let's focus on tummy and butt. Yeah, middle of stomach. My belly button feels so good. Okay, loves it in the button. You know, they say the belly button is like the petri dish of the body. Lots of bit of lower stomach. Definitely keep your belly button clean and don't poke around in it. Unless, of course, you're cleaning it. She fucking loves the belly button. If you get like a big... Does it do that every time you get like a big points? Yeah, that's like the ultimate spot. Okay. I don't think the achievements popped up for the 200% yet, though. There it is. It just popped up. <sighs> Kaname, are you okay? I... Uh, yeah. Tenzo. Hmm? Do you really love me? Uh, yeah. I do. Since when? Since when? Probably since the day I made that promise. Maybe even earlier. I mean, otherwise I wouldn't have promised to protect you. I thought that was just because we were childhood friends. Maybe at first, but now it's different. So, you really did love me. I'm not the type to joke about this sort of thing, you know, so uh, I really do. Yeah, you're right. That's why I'm so happy. To be honest, yeah, I always, always loved you. Ah, I love you too, Tenzo. Kaname, I've always loved you so much. Not just as a childhood friend, but as a boy. Ugh. Tenzo, your cheeks are bright red. It's just sunburn, that's all. I love the way you get embarrassed too. Hey! Well, that's that. I'm so happy for you two. So unbelievably happy. I think this might be the same dialogue each time. But I'm gonna read it every time. I thought this was Kaname-san's spiritual power that was the source of her guardians, but... Oh, I guess maybe it's slightly different. It looks like I was wrong. I think that first line is always the same. It seems the source of her guardians was the conflict between her desire to always be with you. 
and her thinking that you two could never be anything more than just childhood friends. Friends. That was a big pause there. My voice keeps disappearing too. But all's well that ends well, right? Your hard work paid off, Tenzo. Congratulations, Tenzo. I'm overwhelmed with joy. It was only a short time, but it's been fun hanging out with you. Their big flappy mouth. Well then, Tenzo, may you and Kaname live happily ever after. Allow me to offer you one last Cupid's blessing before I go. Farewell, Tenzo. Farewell, Tenzo. <laughs> the, the usual pop out of frame again. This means true end, right? When we when it goes through all this dialogue, Patiko, sheesh. Even at the last second, he managed to. Jeez. Well, thanks. I had fun too. What's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing much, anyway. Ah, uh, Tenzo, look at that. Hmm? Oh yeah, we got the picture. Look, it's so beautiful. And she's gonna do the, the heart flying thing, yeah. So I guess they did get her true end, because I think uh, this only happens during the true ends. All the true ends but the one. The rich girl, the fancy one. I just could not satisfy the fancy one. It's too much. Too much work. Too difficult. But I got it this time. So that was the end of Kaname's route. That's the end of all four routes. Yeah, true ending. Uh, of course, after the credits, it's just uh, Patiko showing up and saying that she'll be with me forever or some odd shit. Uh, like, this is unskippable, so I gotta sit through it. And uh, we're not quite done. We have one last thing, and it's going to be the Doki Doki Festival. There is another mode that is just uh, time trial stuff. It's just going through the stages that we've already seen some more than once. So that's not really worth visiting in a video, but Doki Doki Festival next episode. Oh, before we move on to that, I have in the it's in the galleries where you spend your light feathers. There's a couple in here that... I don't have. I'm not sure why I cannot purchase them. I just get that awful fart noise. But uh, let's let's see what this hundred dollar one is. Uh, yes. Oh, it's just all the girls have new undies. Okay. So it's not just images. It's also bonus things. Is there another expensive one that's gonna give me something like that? Nope, looks like they're all just cheap fives and tens, and there's so many! 26, yes. Oh, it's just just uh, the picture, the cover art. That's nice. And 27? Special edition cover art. Okay, that's there seems to be a bit of a trend there. Let's, uh, well, let's grab this 21, that's a little expensive. Oh, that's a nice picture of... Oh, it's all six of the heroines including Patako and Ekoro, which we'll get uh, a bit more familiar with in a moment. Oh, it's the student lineup of uh, third years. Okay, so yeah, I guess a lot of the pictures are just going to be like concept art and stuff. Oh, it even shows you where their spot is too. That's handy information. Let's grab, is there a 66? Because my lucky number is 6. Let's grab that. Let's see what 66 is. Oh, it's uh, manga panels. Man, if only these were translated, they'd be worth collecting. Well, I guess that's a, that's a bit of an idea of what to expect in the gallery. There's also these real cheap ones, just five bucks. Happy birthday, Haruka. Is that one of the random students? Okay, let's try this one. Happy birthday, Minimo. Oh, I, these are cute, fun pictures, I guess. Let's go for number 100. Happy New Year! Okay, so it's it's just random pictures. Let's get on to Doki Doki Festival. I meant Carnival. 